from my in and suds and such ambi scented fragrance oil supply i'm excited to show you guys this short video it, i'm actually going to sit down here um we're at my kitchen table and um here you can see some well they're not freshly poured they've been poured about an hour um uh, some woodwick candles um they're just actually starting to set up they're kind of turning frosty looking um, my yellow ones are back here they are a custom blend i had a custom order um i started messing with uh, woodwick candles um it's been a little while doing some testing to get uh, ratios and because um, I'm using soy wax and um, to get the proper fragrance ratio for my wax with my wicks. Uh, I've tested several different wicks with my containers and I finally you know, got it down to what I needed to get a really good scent throw um, with my soy wax with uh, woodwick candles, uh, woodwick wax, uh, wicks, goodness gracious. So, um, I actually have a, there's a double wicks in here, um, and it's actually, one side is a crackling woodwick, and the other is a standard woodwick. Uh, it actually helps to give a better scent throw in soy candles. So I'm really excited to bring these into my line with my soaps. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys them, and uh, here are some ones that are ready to, about ready to be labeled. Uh, this is my um, marshmallow fireside. This is a 16 ounce container, so it's a 12 ounce candle. And I'm actually getting ready to label those. Um, this one is the rainbow sherbet. The one I really want to show you, I think, is this one here. Yeah. This is my coffee candle. I'll have several. Ooh, I almost dropped it. I scared myself. I want to have a couple that will have a pretty design on top. Or, you know, like like this. Uh, this is my French vanilla coffee. Uh, it smells awesome. Um, and it has, you know, a little bit of glitter on there. And a little fluffy topping. Um... And then here I have, it's, it, they've been covered up because actually back here the kids were playing and I didn't want them to get my candles dusty or anything. So here's how my candles will come looking when you order them. It will have my business information on here and the size of the candle. This is a 12 ounce candle with my business. The top will have the name of your candle. This is Blue Hawaiian. Now, as you can see, it's a pretty, pretty teal blue. And then, of course, the bottom will have your standard caution label on there of how to burn your, your candle. Um, I'll also offer these in a smaller 6-ounce size. Um, I didn't make any. Uh, right now, I'm working on all of my large ones. Let me go grab one of the small ones so you can see what they look like. Okay. I'm back. It's been just a couple of minutes for you guys. It's been like th nothing. Okay, so here is the smaller candles, and you can see comparison here of my large candle. The lids get twisted around. It's no biggie. Um, this is a one over here. is a six ounce candle. It's actually an eight ounce container, but you can never can have as you know much wax in there as you know the size of the container and then this is your 12 ounce wax that's in a 16 ounce container see this one um of course i've been burning it this is one of my testers i did all my um i did testing in both sizes um but i did uh the testing for scent throw um in these uh to not waste as much product, I guess you could say, to get the correct amount of fragrance for the wax to give the best scent throw. Um, I have learned that not always the maximum amount uh, gives the best scent throw. Sometimes that hinders. Um, so I've actually found um, between about 8% um, is about what I go with. But um, what's cute is that my labels they all match the candle that is in there like this is the cucumber melon and as you can see it's kind of a green color and 
the green candle with the pretty wood wick. Um, same with the blue Hawaiian. You know, it's got the blue label. Let's see. Uh, black raspberry vanilla. It's kind of a plum color, purplish, raspberry-ish. And then, you know, the candle matches the color. Um, so, yeah. Uh, the big candles uh, will be $12. And then these small ones are 7 I will be listing them the end of September on my website for you guys if you're interested in them. Um, shipping is going to be a little high unless you buy several, you know, then I can put them in um, the region rate boxes. Um, so really shipping for one is probably going to cost you the same amount as if I ship four. So, uh, if you do plan on purchasing any of my Woodwick candles, um, it would be better to purchase, you know, at least, you know, at least two or more, um, to get more, the most bang for your buck in shipping wise, um, because I won't ship these in a padded mailer. These will go in boxes. Um, so shipping will start at about, um, $6 for one. And then um, for each additional, you know, it'll probably just be like a dollar or something. Uh, I always refund any shipping overages that are more than a dollar. So you don't have to worry about that. And if you guys have noticed during this video with me talking, these candles are pretty much setting up right before our eyes. Which kind of looks cool. So thank you all for watching my videos, for helping me to expand my business. Um... I'm so happy with how everything is going. Um, I'm able, you know, to do the candles for you guys. To you know, because testing is not cheap. Um, to get the testing done, to get the proper scent throw and and all of the goodiness to have a per a good candle. And um, I'm excited to have the Woodwick candles. So I will see you guys for my next video. Thank you.